in the future we will see electrification of vehicles to a much larger degree. Energy storage is one of the critical limitations right now to make that happen. In order to get there, we need to streamline the entire manufacturing process, increase energy density, and remove cost and hazardous materials, such that we are changing performance by not just increments, but transform the performance of a device and really meet uh, what we need for the new energy technologies out there. Oak Ridge National Laboratory is playing an integral role in developing the technology and engineering solutions for making that happen. The role of the battery manufacturing facility at ONL is to develop a novel processing technique for lower cost, high energy batteries for uh, electric vehicle application. We also want to uh, assist US industry to develop their product and help them be more competitive in their areas. We have uh, the capability in uh, the processing and uh, uh, surface chemistry, colloidal science, and uh, all the cell testing and characterization to make large format power cells. There's a really lot many organization or facility have the kind of capability. There's a big gap between the base research and industry application in, in battery research. It's very challenging to use the behavior in a small console to mimic the real behavior of a commercial batteries because there's so much difference in the capacity in these two types of cells is more than like 10,000 times. At a battery manufacturing facility, we have the capability to get up to the production, but at the same time, still allow us to have uh, enough flexibility in each step to stop and then make some changes and then continue the process and then get to optimal uh, results. Why is it important to scale up? Um, there's uh, two reasons. One, we want the batteries to be large enough to uh, represent the real behavior of the commercial batteries. And the second one is to make the batteries still small enough to save material. Especially for small company, when they develop new material, they don't have enough material for a very large batch coating or a large format battery and we can use uh, limited material and uh, test their product's performance at a relatively large scale. For a new material unit, we need to characterize, for example, the structure of the material. A common tool will be uh, using XRD uh, diffraction, and we can do in situ or ex situ XRD diffraction and uh, characterize the, the structure uh, evolution during the battery uh, testing. If it's needed, we can also use uh, um, the neutron source for that, which will provide a higher resolution. We also have other um, microscopy, SEM, TEM, to look into um, the morphology of the uh, electrodes or the components, and also the structure, how the structure changes before and after testing. Testing the battery will tell us, for example, uh, some basic information like the relation between the, the material, uh, performance, and structure, then also the battery safety and uh, long term cyclability. Then we can also define the ways the energy density, like uh, right now, is very important for EV application. Oak Ridge National Laboratory has a long history in uh, materials processing, manufacturing technologies, and transportation sciences. We're working with material suppliers, equipment manufacturers, and battery customers together to enable these clean energy technologies for electric vehicles and manufacturing for the future.